Greetings Clashers one and all, it is your host Galadon, you are watching Clash of Clans Attacks and yes, it's another 3 star strategy episode, Golems, Valkyries and Hog Riders, a little go va ho at Town Hall 9. I recently had the opportunity to visit some of the other Lost Phoenix Clans and here we are in LP5 Titan watching one of Georgie's recent Town Hall 9 attacks. As you can see he started out, he lures out that clan castle. You've got a pretty wide open interior core to this base. And here it comes, the golem portion. And watch very closely, I love this move. Right here, he drops hog riders. And see where these hog riders are targeting. They're going after the cannon and the archer tower on those two outer enclosures to the left and the right of where the queen is headed. Now you have the wizards that are clearing those surrounding structures on the outside to make sure she doesn't walk, but the hog riders are going after these defensive structures to make sure she doesn't also walk because of the structures that are just inside the walls. As we know, a queen will very likely sometimes avoid the walls and go around, and with these defensive structures out of the way, she is almost sure to go right down the middle, as will the Valkyries, once that jump spell goes down. And there it is, a well-placed jump spell letting all of those units go right into the core and start clearing out everything in the center, taking out the Archer Queen, and of course, occupying those Expos before the Hog Riders go down in mass. So there you have a perfect funnel executed, just pouring those units right into the core, and that is going to take out, obviously, the heroes, the giant bombs in the center, and of course, that Lava Hound out of the clan castle and now you've got the hog riders you can see them at the top of the screen as the queen is starting to move in the expos are occupied by the golems so those hogs are just going to have their way with the rest of the base one of them catches a giant bomb but you've got the heal spells down to help keep those hogs up as they patrol around the outside and there the king triggering the other giant bomb on the inside perfect execution a third giant bomb also on the core not ever a concern for these hog riders as they are perfectly pathing around the perimeter of that town hall enclosure the town hall is down from the kill squad double poison on the inside and the last of the hogs are going to wipe out the last of these defensive structures and that is going to seal the deal a solid three star attack only cleanup left to happen at this point there it is, the hogs turn on those skeletons. You've got one clan castle lava pup, but the queen is going to hunt it down eventually, and uh, it's just going to harangue and harass those hogs for a few seconds. But that is about it, the hogs on their way, a couple of cleanup wizards on the outside, and again, with three minutes and 30 seconds in these raids, no chance that you're going to run out of time, at least not usually, and Georgie is going to wrap up a very solid three-star win using Go Vaho. But Georgie, not the only member of LP5 Titan using this strategy. Here is Grider, and he uses an earthquake version of Govaho. And I like this because watch very carefully as the earthquake spells go down. There is that giant opening now in the center, in the core, towards the town hall. But another key element is right here the very careful placement of the wall breakers to break open this middle enclosure, the far left tip of these walls, because if you went to the top or the bottom, they're not opening a path all the way to the town hall, only at the left of this archer tower, getting that wall out of the way is going to create a path right to that town hall enclosure, all the way to the middle of this base, and that is key to this attack. So here come the units, the golems now taking that path, the archer queen, everybody funneled by those outer structures being down, and they are headed towards the center. That triggers the clan castle troops. Here comes the archer queen as well. And once again, looking at occupying or taking down one or both of the expos before the hog riders move in. So here comes the king's ability. The queen is following as well. She is going to take out a couple more structures in the area. The clan castle troops won't last much longer. And there you can see the near expo is just about to fall to the Valkyries. And the far expo is locked onto the units in the core. So now the hog riders, and I like this precision placement from the top of your screen. Hog riders moving in, taking out those individual structures. And again, the hog riders not going to be targeted by the expos, and that is going to help keep them up. Now that first heal spell, not ideal, doesn't work out quite as well as Grider had hoped, but nonetheless, he's got more heal spells in order, and he's got plenty of time, plenty of units left to get the job done. There is another good heal spell, and that one much better placement, right by that cluster of bombs and that cluster of defensive structures. They are going to take down the last expo, 
and that is about it. The Archer Queen is still up, Giant Bomb, but Injured Hog Riders are still good Hog Riders. As long as they have any health, especially now, they are going to be just fine. Town Hall down, 69% damage, just one defensive structure left, Giant Bomb, but it doesn't finish them off, and that right there was perhaps the difference between a two and a three star attack. Just that pair of Hog Riders left is going to make a big difference as you've got still close to 20% of the structures that were left to down in the remaining time for this raid. But Grinder is going to get the job done. The Archer Queen also up at the bottom of your screen. A couple of Valkyries left. And as time runs down, so does this raid. And Grinder wrapping up a solid Go Vaho Earthquake three star attack. As they say in the world of infomercials, but wait, there's more! That's right, Grider again with the Earthquake Govaho attack. And again, watch the Earthquake spell just break so many walls in these multi enclosure Town Hall 9 bases. And once again, watch as there's really only one enclosure that Grider can open that will create that path to the Town Hall. And it's going to be the wall just to the right of the Wizard Tower this time. So again, he's coming on the Archer Queen side. The Clan Castle is activated. And here come the Wall Breakers opening up that key enclosure. And there it is, the path all the way to the Town Hall. The funnel created, the units moving in. The Clan Castle activated. Here come the Valkyries. The heroes working again. The Archer Queen taking down that Lava Hound early. And the Expos are once again going to be destroyed or occupied by the Kill Squad before the Hog Riders move in. There is a heal spell in there, and that should be plenty to keep those Valkyries up as the Clan Castle units usually are locked on to the Golems that have moved in just before the Valkyries. Check out every defensive structure firing into those Kill Squad units, and that means it is time for the Hog Riders. From the top of the screen, just a small group here. Luckily, they do not trigger double giant bombs right there. But then again, that was only a quartet of Hog Riders. Here comes the major group on the bottom left. And you'll notice as they path in towards the core, there are no areas for double giant bombs down here. So Grider very wisely drops the majority of the Hog Riders from the bottom left. Both of the heal spells are down. The Archer Queen is going to move in and take down that last Expo. And don't even bother sticking a meat thermometer in this base because it is done. Grider is going to wrap up a solid three star attack as we're really just in the cleanup. Another last second giant bomb, but it does not finish off those badly injured Hog Riders. And once again, an almost dead Hog Rider, just as good as a full health Hog Rider when you have no defensive structures left. Those Hogs, less than 5% health, I would say, left on them, but they've got plenty of health left to get through the rest of these buildings. And that, again, is going to be another solid three star attack for LP5 Titan. Thanks to Grider and his Shaken Govaho. There are so many different attack strategies and troop combinations at Town Hall 9 that will grab you three stars on different bases. We will be reviewing more of them in the coming days. But in the meantime, please be sure to check out my other episodes. Subscribe for the earliest update and sneak peek information. Check out the Clash Royale YouTuber tournament. Thank you again for spending part of your day with me. And I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Gallidon, finally some of the ticks with a violent cries. That's more like it.